Hello everyone and welcome to Werven's World and welcome to part 7 of my Let's Play series on Tales of Majajal. So last time we beat the maze and now it's time to do some other things. I think I'm going to do some things I didn't do before like the Golem Graveyard. Oh, and getting ambushed. Put a shield on. Uh, arcane Eye. Nothing. These ambushes can get quite dangerous, but at the moment they're Ooh. they still seem fairly mild, but uh, let's see Ooh. it's more resistances a little bit more and more damage and more maximum mana well, why not it's Everything is a bit better. Um, let's see, a resilient cloak, no thank you. I already have a pretty nice cloak, the one that I got at the beginning. Five spell power, or actually... Mm, yeah, it's still better than this, I think. And this doesn't have as much, no. It does have damage shield penetration, which could be nice. But way less critical hit chance, so I don't want it. Because damage shields, well, they get fairly powerful. Like, I have tons of them, right? Like, I keep negating damage. So I think Olive Graveyard is actually fairly low level now. Of course, there's the problem, I'm a skeleton, so I'm only level 15. Normally I would be a bit higher level like, already, but I get a 40% experience penalty, which hurts. Uh, these guys are level 15, so they're actually on my level. 16. I'm actually not sure what's in the golem graveyard. Uh, it's in a randomized location always and I don't always do it. I think I've done it like twice or something. And I think there's something you can do with this golem here, but I've never done it. Um, so I think you have to find some... Uh, a ruby. One seems to be missing, it says. But I've never done it, so it's something I still have to explore. No, oh, just items. First time in this uh, playthrough that not <laughs> uh, elite enemies spawn out. Like here, level 17 golems. Alright, let's nuke them. Because why not? Uh, we still have a fair amount of life left. So we could also put in some inferno. Now I'm burning and now I need a shield. And. And do, do, do. of course, the problem of this this bathe in light is that it shields everybody, but it also increases healing effects. So it's it's better for me because I can heal myself fairly properly. Uh, I might phase door out of here. So it's a random location, but uh, well, that helped. These are dangerous, these guys. Oh, now he's got a shield. I'm gonna put a displacement shield on it. I'm not sure how effective the displacement shield is. Uh, I can put a disruption shield on. Because um, I don't really see the, the values, what it's doing, but I'm just gonna assume it's being useful. Not that assuming in this game is the best thing you can do, but well. Nope. Oh. No way. <laughs> That was lucky. I misclicked on the last moment and I nuked myself without having a proper shield on. Stupid mistakes can get you killed so fast in this game. Um, also my mana shield broke now unfortunately. Uh, I'm gonna heal myself. And then I am going to uh, phase in light a bit so I can shoot at it. Alright. Phew. This should be easy. Should be. Doesn't mean it is, apparently. There we go. Or here I'm saying that it's difficult when I don't insta them. <laughs> um, 
Come on, it's not too much to ask, right? So you need some kind of a ruby. Um, I don't even dare to do it yet because this area was already more difficult than I thought. So I'm not even sure if I have that ruby that I need. Um, try. Ooh. No, not a better stuff. And don't need pouches. Don't need leather armor. I can see if I have something related to that ruby. Uh, quest and plot related items. No, I don't. So. So I don't think I could even do anything there now. Then I'm going to try and see what's happening in Dearth. Oh, there's ambush waiting here. So Dearth, there is um, a storm raging. They're being attacked by um, um, air elementals. But I think they're not so high level. There we go. Uh, level 14. Okay, that's still pretty high. They are lightning resistant and fire... Uh, what do you call that? Well, they can't resist fire so well. <laughs> I forgot the words. Susceptible. No, I don't want to go to the world map. Ooh. Uh, nuke them. It's nice that they're susceptible to fire. Yeah, look out for these guys because they've got a long range attack that hurts like hell. And then they've got this um, hurricane that basically keeps doing damage every turn to you. And it's kind of really annoying. As you can see, it does a lot of damage. Did I get everyone already? There! Now I killed them all. Halfling comes forth, killed them all, are we safe now? Please tell me this was a bad dream. No, I saved you. Uh, quest, let's see, I forgot what it does. Now it wants me to go to Daikara, I think. Ah, no. Yeah, right, okay. So I can I can either go to the, the Archmages, which I need that arcane infused item for, which could be this crystal focus, but maybe I should collect another one. Um, or I can find the anti-magic people, which um, allow you, if you want to, to become anti-magic, which gives you a special sp skill tree against wizards. Which is a fairly good skill tree, but uh, the problem is that, well, I'm a wizard, so basically you become anti-magic, so you can't use any spells anymore, ever. So that's not very good for this character, because I basically only use spells, so it's a bad idea. Um, I also want to accept the other alchemist quest. Um, I th have to f keep forgetting where that was exactly. Uh, I don't want to go there, it's dangerous. Let's get ambushed for a bit. Oh, is that that stone wall? Ooh, that looks like it does what I thought it would do. So maybe I do want that skill. Hey, this is arcane. Maybe that's enough. Uh, move to normal. Because he wanted an arcane item, but I'm not sure if he wanted an arcane, like, yellow item or not. Or We'll see. Uh, hidden compound. Uh, I don't like this much. But let's do it. Um, <laughs> it's a fairly annoying level. There's actually an achievement here. Um, I think I've gotten it every time, but it's kind of a hassle. So these guys, these uh, slavers, they, they control these enthralled slaves. If you manage to kill the slaver but not the enthralled slaves, they become free so they, they don't attack you anymore. Um, 
but they're a pain in the ass. Uh, I am free! See, and now these guys, because they are still under control of that other slaver, they're gonna kill him. Uh, which is a bit sad. Mm. Ooh, I can hit this guy. Three free ones. I have to kill that one. Um. Oh, this is actually going quite bad. Yeah, so there is an achievement if you free like 10 or something like that. Um, I'm kind of inclined to skip this, but the problem is I already get an experience penalty, so I do want to get as much experience as possible. Um, let's see if we can find the guy. There he is. Ah, then I have to hit the guy as well. I don't want that. Because I'm nice. Eh. There. They've got a fair amount of health as well. I don't remember them being so strong. Maybe I'm really lacking in damage at the moment. But... Or strong. Uh, tanky. There is more. Ooh, look at that. Uh. Hey, shield. There we go. The hole is gone. Stop moving, stupid blue one. In there, and now that guy there. In one turn, first I'm gonna put on a shield. And I'm gonna blow him up. There, I'm, everybody's free, everybody's happy. Uh, ooh, rune. Let's see if we can scout some. No. Here's one. Let's see where the slaver is. Uh, that's an annoying location. Uh, shield. Nuke. Hey, why are you still attacking me? There must be another slaver around somewhere. But I'm unable to move. I've been grappled. Silence pin damage reduced by one, slowed by zero. Not good, uh, but it's a physical effect, I think. Yeah, but it's five turns. There, now he's dead. Shouldn't grapple me, man. Hmm. Hey, what is he controlled by? Must be there then. No. Where's your master? Why are you just angry at me for no reason? Oh, you kill him. Ha! <laughs> Even got a level up from it. Level 16, good. Yeah, so I think we're lagging behind in levels a bit uh, because of that 40% experience bonus. I've never played Skeleton, so... Um, mm, Send some incoming attacks. If the attack is not physical, you will erect a temporary shield that reduces all damage of... Ah, oh, this is permission. Yeah, right. That's nice. I kind of wish now I had taken Temporal before I had taken Wildfire, because then I would have Temporal Shield already, or Time Shield, and life would be better. Um, but I didn't, so I have to live with that decision for now. Um, what are we taking then? Uh, we shall take more... Uh, I think I might take either more life or more shield. Ooh, I might actually go for this because then I can go for Aegis. And if I get Aegis, my shields are better. Yes. I expected to have to be higher level for this, but I didn't. Um, all right, so that's that. Then we need a bit more. Hmm. One con. Uh, I feel we're lacking a bit in damage, so maybe this works a bit, but cunning might also be a solution. Not sure, not sure, not sure. 
I'll just keep going with magic for a while. Class points. Well, we've got Inferno. Um, that does a fair amount of damage, but I. Hmm. Maybe I just want this one. It just re um, even if I only have it for a little bit, just the fact that it it just makes me immune to damage for a while is just really good. Um, is it instantaneous? Actually, it is instantaneous. So in that sense, I could auto use when available. Basically, whenever I can use it, I want to use it because uh, it doesn't have a duration. I think. Hmm. Yeah, it just takes mana, so I don't see why I would ever not want this. I might change my mind at this point, but uh, at the moment it seems like I, I I don't see why I would ever not want to use it when it's available because it's an instant, um, and it doesn't have a duration, so. There, saving all these guys. Not a bad skeleton. Uh, ooh, there's like a unique one there. Uh, a rare. He's got arcane shield and arcane power. I might just blow up these guys. I've already got the achievement anyway. Um, and I want to be frozen. Stop freezing me. There, flame should work against freezing. Uh, let's see, I still have shield on. Alright, I'm going to. Ooh, I can actually put on bathe in light so these guys will be shielded a little bit. Probably doesn't help, but. You know, saved one. <laughs> this guy is still angry that I killed all his friends, I think. Well, he gives experience, so. Uh, I'm actually not sure if it does anything um, like saving these guys except for getting the achievement because I think I've always saved them so might change now um, oh there's a guy uh, face door Yay, there we go. 30. Alright. Thrallless. Thrallless. Freed at least 30 enthralled slaves in the slaver compound. So I'm not entirely sure if that does anything, but well, these guys are still angry at me, clearly, so they have to die. By fire. This sounds good. More spell power, more spell crit chance, less mind power, that's fine. Less fire damage, less fire resistance, less armor, less cunning, and less will. Hmm, do I want to change all those things for a bit of spell crit chance? I mean, 4% is nice, but so is extra fire resistance, especially, and fire damage as well. I don't think I want these. Um, I'm going to keep them anyway, uh, maybe to give to that guy because they were. Powered by arcane forces. Ooh, a belt. Our current belt is not great. This belt is also not great. Mm, no. All right. Um, yeah. So here you can make a choice. You can either agree with the slavers and then you can fight in an arena and then you can get some rewards which I think is a ring of lifesteal or something if I remember correctly or you can just kill him 
I think I'm just gonna call, uh, kill him. Uh, otherwise, you have to play as like a, a brawler. Uh, you get different kind of skills, and you should definitely try it out if you're here. It's, it's kind of fun to do, but uh, and now I just kind of want to kill him. <laughs> um, I yes, slavers. This is so wrong. I'm just gonna kill him. There, the right thing to do. Did the righteous thing in the ring of blood and disposed the blood master. I'm not entirely sure if there were other rewards if I would have sticked, uh, stuck with him. Um, but in any case, now I missed him. So, not gonna read a guide on it. Uh, I think the first and second time I did the the brawling. And, uh, yeah, so it's a lot of fun. But as far as I remember, I got some kind of a lifesteal thing, which I don't need. Mm -hmm. He's searching. Well, oh, not the next level, previous level. All right, so that was the hidden compound. Um, yeah, so there's this thing, last hope graveyard. I remember this being fairly difficult, so I don't wanna, I don't wanna try it yet. I think I am going to the sandworm lair, which is a terrible place. Did I do the... does Dearth have the the alchemist? I think Dearth might have it. The third alchemist. This one. Yeah, see? Um, we can either get more dexterity and cunning, we can get defense and range defense by six, not bad. Uh, physical critical strike chance. I think I'll go for defense and range defense. And we can go to our quests. And we don't have the ingredients for that one as well. I'm not still not sure if I should just wait until I deliver the potion uh, to get that. Um, the, definitely get the one with the two category points. Because uh, that would be really nice to have. So let's go to the sandworm lair. I think it's here around the mountain somewhere. And it's a really weird place. Uh, here, it's a very original, <laughs> but also very weird. So let's first kill here these red worms. Um, uh, no, I'm blinded. Probably doesn't help. Okay, I'll just throw fire here. More fire. More shields. Uh, one more turn of being blinded. I really should get a, something against blinding. Oh, this is already the boss. What's he doing here? He came out of a chest. Huh. And he's 52% fire resistant. That's also no fun. No fun at all. Hmm, okay, I'm gonna put a displacement shield on him. And gonna. Well. He's not completely fire immune, so... There, now he's dead. Alright, so what happens here? Well, you got all these sandworms and they dig holes and you have to follow them. But you have to be careful because the sand closes again and then you're gonna suffocate. Uh, as far as I remember, teleport and phase door work here. Um, so you don't have to suffocate. Always make sure that you have an escape here. Um, but in general, it's uh, yeah. If you don't pay attention, it's fairly um, dangerous here. And there's a lot of loot here everywhere. So, uh, sh see now I'm already being followed by the sand. So I should blow them up. <laughs> there's a lot of loot here, and I. I Probably I'll miss a lot of it. Um, like here's the, the entrance to the next level, but as you can see here on the map, I haven't explored most of the level yet. So I'm just gonna wait here with five until a worm shows up, and then I'm going to follow it. And then I'm gonna wait again. Oh, one came from here, but I don't want to go against the direction of how it went because that would be very dangerous because the sand uh, regenerates fairly fast. Uh, 
shield. Blow up thingy. Kill, kill. Good. Another chest. Yes, please. Ooh. There we go. I already have my mana shield for quite some time, which is nice. I uh, guess I just need to make sure I keep casting expensive spells. And of course, if I get a ton of damage, then, then the shield doesn't really do anything anymore. But Or then it's going to go away. Uh, oh, now I'm stuck. So if you're stuck from all sides, you can't uh, live anymore, basically. You're going to suffocate for a couple of turns. So then you can hope that a worm comes by again. Like you still have a couple of turns to, to try and survive, but... Eh, shield. There's a lot of loot here. Where are you gonna go, worm? I feel uh, feeling I've, I'm still missing a bit on, on the side. Oh, no. Uh, heal. Can we just go to the fun part of this map? Ah! <laughs> you get a lot of damage as well in there. Which means I shouldn't hang around here, actually. But I just kind of want all the loot. <laughs> uh, that's what you get for being greedy. Alright, we got a cloak here. Um, it does give me less spell power, but it gives me more life and a bit more cunning and will, and less fatigue, more defense, and some accuracy, which is not very useful, but I might take that one. Of course, that means we don't have the, the other one anymore that makes us look like we're alive, but I'm not sure if, where, what that's for, actually, because uh, I've never played, played an undead. Um, because the other cloak made us seem alive, it said. Mind stars, we don't need, we don't need that. No. Whoa. Bad idea. I don't know what happened there. This might be my end. If I'm confused and I can't heal, I'm gonna die. And I died. What happened there? Huh. Uh, it's hard to see, I guess. Ah, damn it. Already. Wow. Bad, bad, bad me. I don't exactly know what happened. Um, I had a big shield with the mana thing and I put fire flash on me. Um, so that probably collapsed my shield 
did some damage, but still meant that they were alive, unfortunately, why they while they were killing me. That's super sad. Um, yeah, so well, that's it, uh, I guess. I still have lives, so I can I can continue. Um, you know what we're gonna do? I'm gonna call it a quit here, and I am going to ask you whether you want to have me continue this um, because, well, I have a couple of more lives left. Uh, and again, like hey, this was one of those either stupid mistakes or whatever. So I'm, I'm happy to continue. I'm also happy to start a new character or what, whatever you want. Um, so I think I'll just call it a quit here, upload these episodes and uh, await your reactions. So yeah, too bad, already died once. Um, doesn't mean much. I mean, if we look at my character, I still have four lives left and we're going to get some more at higher levels. And at some point we can buy a potion for one more even. Plus as a skeleton at some point I can get uh, resurrected as well. Um, so in that sense, we can we can play for hours and hours more. So um, it's up to you. Uh, do you want me to start a new class? Do you want me even to continue this Let's Play? Uh, do you want to continue this character? Or uh, let me know. So yeah, I hope you had fun and see you next time.